Welcome to Franklin Central High School, home of the Franklin Central Flashes. Tonight we travel to Ray Skillman Chevrolet Stadium at Franklin Central High School in Indianapolis, Indiana to check out a great matchup between the Ron Colley Royals and the Franklin Central Flashes. Both teams are coming off a dominant week one victory. The Royals trounced the South Fork Cardinals 43-20. The Royals ground game got it done with four different running backs scoring at least one touchdown. The Flashes showed flashes of greatness against the Perry Meridian Falcons. Senior wide receiver Jayon Harvey had seven catches for 171 yards and two touchdowns, aiding the Eagles to a 29-12 victory. Now they 6A 22nd ranked in the state of Indiana, Franklin Central Flashes will host the 4A 13th state ranked Royals in a week two battle. The Franklin Central Flashes are four time state champions, with their most previous being back in 1990. Before my dad suited up for the Franklin Central Flashes and terrorized backfields across in central Indiana. As fans from Ron Colley and Franklin Central begin to fill up the stands, they can sense it. Kickoff is near. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Franklin Central High School. Coach Chuck Stevens Field. Here come the 10-time state champions, the Ron Colley Royals. Coming to the field, the four-time state champions, the Franklin Central Flashes. It really doesn't get any better than this. A beautiful Friday night in Indiana. Third down for the Flashes. came to play. There's no doubt about that. They were ready. The Franklin Central Flashes defense held the Ron Colley Royals, the team, to 129 yards rushing. They said, oh, you're 13th ranked in the state of Indiana? We're 22nd? Nah, -uh, we got something to say about it. An excellent game all around. A dominant game, really, by the Franklin Central Flashes. And they did just enough on offense to really hold the ball, keep the ball away from the really struggling Ron Colley Royal offense. Got to give Ron Colley credit too, though. They were playing pretty lights out on defense as well. They had a blocked kick. Pretty sure they had another block extra point. And they had that pick six. So Ron Colley's defense was on it. But really comes down to one play. A 98-yard touchdown run by number 14, Brayton Gillard, to seal the game. It was 13 to six at that point. It was close. All Ron Colley really needed to do was get a stop. They punted the ball. The best punt of the game. I gotta give the punter credit. That was the best punt of the game. Got it down to what I thought was the one yard line. I looked at the stat sheet. It said 98 yards. We're gonna go with 98 yards. But I thought it was a 99-yard touchdown run. But nevertheless, it was right there. The punt was right there. It was an excellent punt. 
Pat McAfee and the boys would be absolutely proud. But Braden Gillard had other plans. He said, no, no. I'm going. I got a house call. I'm gone. See ya. And he iced the game. And at that point, there was nothing Ron Colley could do. They kept running the ball. And at that point, they were kind of getting chunks. They were getting four, five, six yards. Getting chunks, getting chunks, getting chunks. But it was a dollar short and day late. They weren't quite getting downfield. They weren't quite getting into the red zone. Franklin Central, excellent, excellent game defensively. Also, these fans were rocking. It was evident with these two student sections, the Ron Colley Royals and the Franklin Central Flashes, going at it, trash talking. These two schools, they have a history. They've played each other over the years. There's no love lost between these two programs. But ultimately, it was the Franklin Central Flashes fans who had the last laugh. Central Flashes now advance 2-0 on the year. The fans couldn't be happier. Look at these guys celebrating. What a win for the Franklin Central Flashes. <laughs>